Yeah. Hello. You doing? Uh, for the day of the week, there's my uh, there's my angry admin mask. There's my Captain America getting it done mask, and there's my my Spider Man web design mask. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the purpose of these website audits for me is to um, help people get more out of their website. And usually what they want out of their website is more leads. Um, in your case, because it's not business um, orientated as such, it's a wee bit different in that you're not directly kind of selling a service or a product. Um, so it will be a wee bit different. But as with anything, any website has a purpose. You know, yours is to attract followers to your podcast. Most people start on Wix because um, it's cheap and easy to get startups. It's got a low learning curve. Um, I would say that Wix is quite limiting in the functionality and you, you'll find quite quickly that you hit your limit with it is that there's a lot going on. Um, I get what you're going for. Bright colours, uh, stands out. However, like my eyes are just like... <laughs> Like, where do I look? Like, just less is more. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, treat your website like it was a business page and think, what is the purpose here? And if the purpose is to um, attract people to the podcast, really what you should be landing with is the latest episode of your podcast. What do you want their action to be, the first action, when they land on the site? Um, that's what you want the focus to be and at the moment here there's just there's so many focuses i don't even know where to go probably the least important element on the page because when they get okay. to the page they, they have already found you they don't need to recognize a logo is a symbol for your brand right and at yeah. this point they have found your brand they don't need to recognize you anymore just the more you put on there the less likely they are to take your de desired action like, oh, am i going to watch one of these videos am i going to chat to you in discord am i going to read a blog post at the moment discord is what's standing out the most and um, not your videos it's all too tight um, it's too condensed, so like, everything is sort of running into each other. Um, it's a bit like reading a book with no paragraph spacing. You know, you don't know where one one paragraph stops and, and the next chapter. Sorry, one chapter stops and the next begins. Um, so I would use and at any point in the website, think right, what do I want users to do here? What what's the desired action? And anything that doesn't meet that desired action, um, either take it away or move it to somewhere else. Where it's like, yeah, it's like that quote from Jurassic Park, isn't it? It's like uh, just because you scientists could do a thing doesn't mean yeah. like, should they have? Yeah, yeah I've yeah. just gone. <laughs> Just, I mean, you can have a sticky button in the corner if that's a desired action. Um, okay. I would pick one. Like, you, you can only ask people to do one thing. It's kind of like, imagine if you're approaching someone on the street, right, and they don't know you very well. Yeah. Um, you can ask them for the time or for directions or, you know, um, would you mind holding that while I tie my shoe? Like, whatever. You can ask them for, like, a small favour. But if you come up to a stranger and you start saying to them, hold my bag while I tie my lace and how do I get here? And, and you're asking them too many things and they're basically going to tell you to take a flying fuck. You know, it's like, <laughs> basically what I'm driving at is you, you can only really ask for one thing at a time um, and make sure it's a little thing and even better, make sure it's in their, their best interest. So um, that's my that's my ask on the blog page. It's like, and, and it comes with a, a freebie, like an incentive for them to do something. What I want is for them to sign up to the newsletter. I want to grow my audience. That's obvious. What they get from it is a monthly deep dive marketing articles and weekly one minute um, marketing tips that's what they're getting for signing up and that product or service yeah so that's how i can frame it yeah exactly and um, it's all about the i guess that we're getting into offers now so um yeah in terms of your offer um essentially you want to flip it so always tell them what they're getting first and um, people okay. <clears throat> but on businesses particular are bad for telling people what they do and not why they should do it so um like oh we sell double glazing in glasgow okay great but so what so always be asking so what um so what you sell double glazing you'll save money on your energy bills. That's what they should lead with. So in your case, um, the, we're talking about the offer. If you if your goal is guests on your podcast, um, I would open with um, once this is your chance to talk about your business sort of thing. Um, and, and that way you're putting them first, their, their desires first. I mean, it doesn't need to be some lofty world changing goal. Everyone thinks that it doesn't. Um, it, the, the goal could be as simple as uh, have an entertaining chat with someone who shares your interests. That's a goal, you know, and that's a, you're kind of like, let like the shotgun approach your phone at the wall and see what sticks and obviously if you don't get results on all the platforms quickly the, there's always a bit of um commit or quit going on where you're like well am i just not getting results because i'm not doing it quite right or because i've not committed enough time? And then at a certain point you've got to decide right which platform am, am i really going to focus on and put all my efforts in there and become good in that platform See, that would be good but like you say it's just it's too much it's disjointed it's yeah. not connected to the topics so yeah i'll, I'll get to that yeah just cut it um, in terms of the the colors and so on i would also say um, try and again just with going with the minimalist theme try and cut down the number of um colors and, and fonts you're using to get a bit of consistency so i'm um, just yeah. looking at this one screen alone we've obviously got the logo font which is kind of retros and then there's like the kind of all standard aerial font for the menu the button for the co coffee is in a different font and then there's another one for login and then another one for the, uh, the, <laughs> the yeah. and again look there's another one it's like count the fonts <laughs> That one there. Yeah. This is one we did for um, a guy that was starting a positivity podcast. <clears throat> he's kind of quite a unique spin. He's, he's a really, really fantastic guy. But basically, he's kind of dealing with serious, serious life issues. 
but through uh, a filter of comedy. He's a big ginger, so it's kind of like the Iron Brew brand going on as well. <laughs> He's There's an example, you know, that's just him, first and foremost. Yeah. He explains what he does. Listen on Spotify straight away. You can jump into an episode. Yeah. Brief explainer of what he's doing, what his motivation is. Um, listen up, your bams. Uh, <laughs> some feeds from his socials, more videos, more uh, Spotify playlists. The goal is always just getting people into listening. And then at the end, obviously, they ask, which is uh, sign up for your weekly dose of Graham Ashton, give your name, give your email. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's that's been super helpful. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that you know your whoever watches this video after you chop it up, I hope that like they find it useful as well. 